Good morning, this is Sage live from Calkine Studio and you're watching The Early Trades, a show where we'll take a glimpse of the Australian share market's opening trade scenario along with the global and domestic drivers. And in the first segment of the show today, we'll look at the early morning trades, then we'll look at the prominent shares and finally we'll discuss the crude oil, gold and metals indices. And a rise in the coronavirus infections in some parts of the country as well as weak global queues have spooked investor sentiment as the equity barometer, the ASX 200, declined more than 1.5% in the opening deals. Domestic equity markets witnessed massive selling pressure with all the sectoral indices bleeding in the red, while the energy, consumer, discretionary and materials declined the most. And the Australian shares opened lower on Friday, giving away most of the previous session's gains to open the day lower on the last day of the week. And the ASX 200 dropped 1.67% on Friday after an overnight sell-off on Wall Street. Now all 11 sectors are lower today along with the ASX 200 index and although little change, utilities is today's best performing sector. And several Australian companies will be paying their latest dividends to shareholders on Friday. Monodelphus Group, Origin Energy, ProMedicus and Treasury Wine Estates are some of the major names. And the top gainers of the day on the ASX during the opening trade are St Barbara, Silver Lake Resources, Regis Resources, Evolution Mining and Northern Star Resources. While the bottom performing stocks are Unibail Rodemco Westfield, Virgin Money UK, Sims, Collins Foods and Santos. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones sank 1.6 per cent, the S&P 500 fell 1.2 per cent and the Nasdaq dropped 0.45 per cent. And meanwhile, the global stock markets continued to fall on Thursday as inflation fears persisted and expectations grew that the US Federal Reserve would tighten policy in the coming months. The Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said on Wednesday that resolving tensions between high inflation and high unemployment is the Fed's most urgent issue, acknowledging a potential conflict between the US central bank's two goals of stable prices and full employment. Inflation prospects have helped the greenback to end the quarter on a positive note. However, it slipped from a one-year high on Thursday following dismal US weekly job numbers. And over to Asia now, China's economy has been hit by regulatory curbs in the tech and property sectors and is now grappling with a power shortage. Data published on Thursday showed China's factory activity unexpectedly shrank in September, but services returned to expansion as COVID-19 outbreaks receded. And let's move on now to the second segment of the show where we'll take a quick look over the highlights of the prominent ASX shares during the early trades. First company on our list today is ProMedicus, which has signed a deal with a US healthcare company. And Novant Health valued at 40 million US dollars. It's the company's seventh North American contract in less than 18 months, and the share price of ProMedicus was trading at $54.04 Australian during the opening trade. And the next company is Simic, which has secured a contract to manufacture diesel locomotives for rail operator Pacific National. The contract is valid for the next seven years and is valued at around 279 million Australian dollars. These locomotives would help in lowering emissions and operating costs, while at the same time improving productivity. And the share price of Simic Group was trading at $19.34 Australian during the opening trade. And moving on to the next company, Clean Space Holdings, which has met New Zealand's MedSafe requirements and has been added to the Web Assisted Notification of Devices database. In addition, the company has received e international approvals for a combined AX chemical filter. The share price of Clean Space Holdings was trading at $1.38 Australian during the opening trade. The next company is Bright Star Resources and the company's placement to raise 2.3 million Australian dollars received a strong response. The company has issued 87 million ordinary shares at an issue price of 27 cents per share. 
Proceeds from the placement will significantly strengthen the balance sheet to fund a Jork resource drill out and the share price of Bright Store Resources was trading at 0.039 Australian dollars during the opening trade. And the last company on the list is Archer Materials. The company's shares will be placed under a trading halt from today at the request of a XE. The trading halt will be lifted on the 5th of October 2021 or when a pending announcement is released, whichever comes earlier. The share price of Archer Materials was trading at 1.735 Australian dollars during the opening trade. And now we'll move on to the final segment of the show where we'll discuss the movement seen in the cryptocurrency, bond deals, crude oil, gold and the metals indices. Firstly, the bond yields, and after a sharp rise earlier this week, bond yields fell as investors watched budget talks in Washington and rebalanced portfolios at the end of September. And the benchmark 10-year notes last rose to yield 1.515% from 1.539% late on Wednesday. In the currency space, the dollar index fell 0.129% and the euro was down 0.1% to US $1.1583. Looking at gold, the price of the yellow metal rose on a weaker dollar and a rise in the stock market's volatility. And the US gold future settled 2% up at 1,757 US dollars, while the spot gold added 1.7% to 1,755 US dollars 56 cents an ounce. ASX listed gold stocks such as Northern Star Resources were on the green during the early trade and Newcrest Mining was also trading higher. Moving on to the crude oil space, traders were undecided about how the crude oil prices would behave going ahead and meanwhile the Woodside Petroleum and Santos were both trading lower. And thank you for your company on that report but that is all for now in the early morning trades and this is Sage signing off but stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you sharing live updates across the economy, markets and sectors.